Hi, I'm Pastor Jim Meyer. I'm a retired pastor in the ELCA, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. In my collection in Times Long Ago, I'd like to tell you the story of the Coke Machine by James P. Meyer, and this is Orpha's story. After my husband retired, one of our greatest pleasures was touring our own state of South Dakota. It was noon one day as we drove into a medium-sized town in the western part of the state. It was our practice to look for a cafe where many cars were parked, believing that the food must be good there. We found such a place, and as we entered, there was one choice booth left open right there in front of the door and close to the bar. I was headed for that booth and almost ready to sit down when bump and excuse me lady four well-dressed what looked like businessmen brushed rudely beside us and crowded in front of us taking that booth oh ho, ho, ho. I wanted to give them a piece of my mind but thought different of it and held my tongue my husband and I were forced to go to the back where they opened the dining room for overflow trouble was we were the overflow with no one else back there eventually the waitress came to take our order although they were very busy before we had finished our meal there was a loud noise from an explosion that came from the counter out front it was loud enough to cause quite a commotion people stood up and craned their necks to see what had happened the sight coming from the area around the coke machine was something that will remain with me the entire rest of my life. It seems the coke machine literally blew up, spraying those who were near it with thick, wet, sticky syrup. Just across the aisle from the coke machine were the four businessmen, and there they sat with syrup dripping from nose and, and lapels. I wanted to go over and express my sympathy, but my husband wouldn't let me. The end. I wonder, I wonder who you are in this story. I wonder if exploring and seeing the sights close to home is as exciting as traveling to another state. I wonder if the food is better at places with lots of cars. I wonder if the four men ever gave a thought to brushing off the elderly couple. I wonder why Orpha didn't give them a piece of her mind. I wonder what made her swallow her anger. I wonder if you've ever been the only ones in the overflow of a restaurant. I wonder how long it took to be served. I wonder why the cook machine blew up just across the aisle from the four men. I wonder how you would react if you saw the men dripping from noses and lapels. I wonder if you'd laugh out loud and point. I wonder if you have a similar story. And now our family room reflection. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. This is from Joel chapter 2, verse 13. Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but one who has a hasty temper exalts folly. Proverbs 14 verse 29 one who is slow to anger is better than the mighty and one whose temper is controlled than the one who captures a city Proverbs 16 verse 32 those who are hot tempered stir up strife but those who are slow to anger calm contention Proverbs 15 verse 18 Arech. That's the Hebrew word for slow to anger, also meaning long suffering. The literal translation in Hebrew means God has a long nose, meaning 
that in ancient times, when a person is angry, he will snort or have rapid breathing and passion that can cause a snort. In old times, as was the custom, a person would show his disdain and displeasure by snorting. So if God has a long nose, it will take a long time for the snort to reach the nostrils. Thus, slow to anger. And here's our recollection. God shows us his love through his mercy and grace and seeks to reconcile with us. Jesus points out in the Gospels, we are to emanate such behavior toward one another. Orpha, in our story, practiced this grace by holding her tongue and keeping her peace. And she did have help in doing so. Where are you in your ministry of reconciliation or imitating God's love, mercy, and grace? What is your story? <laughs>